What's up guys, this is RG giving another High Definition Broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Unison League and we're going to be talking about the update uh, that just recently came out uh, last Thursday. So um, I will go over some quick points and then uh, we'll get into the infusion, which a lot of people are asking about. So let's go ahead and check this out. Um, the first thing that came up is the large scale update, um, the Battle Coliseum and the Divine Grace spawns. So let's go ahead and check what that is all about. Um, the Battle Coliseum heavily favors uh, healing and paladins in this uh, meta. Although you do see a lot of um, DPS on the top charts, most of the people that are on the top charts are just spending, um, you know, every waking moment going to the Coliseum and then spending gems to uh, refill AP. Um, but the actual most useful class in the Coliseum, honestly, to me, is like a paladin and a healer uh, healer being the most important so um, that's that um, the large-scale update it did um, give um, these new blessing skills haven't come out yet um, they're going to be able to be up when the new event comes I think next Thursday or this coming Thursday infusion I'll be talking about in just a few moments some emotes were added at level cap increased to 95 the best place to level uh, to 95 is just spam either sacred beast which is the second to the last quest or the uh, last quest which is immortality spam those over and over and over again using your friends to um, reduce the amount of AP that you use once you get in so your friend goes in and it only costs either 10 or 11 AP depending on which quest you're going to uh, to go in for the rest of the four friends so you just do that over and over again and uh, basically you gain less get less AP you can also um, if you're like somebody who's a free-to-play player uh, out of like one of your friends you can join it at rank at uh, number four like the wave four and then do the last two waves as well as um, you wait until like say uh, somebody says hey there's an angel min on and wave two then you go in you know like that uh, you know if they can call an angel min for you you go in if you're a free to play player and you don't have any gems to do that much so you know you just gotta coordinate with your friends and it'll be easy to level to 95 that way <laughs> okay um, the next thing to talk about yes 95 cap okay I guess I can go ahead and get into um, the infusion. Oh, well, let me go ahead and talk to you guys quickly about this quest schedule. The daylight savings time is messed up for anybody who's in the United States. It doesn't really affect anybody who wasn't affected by daylight savings time, but as far as anybody who's in the United States, it does affect us pretty drastically because we have to either switch to Schedule B now uh, to, to for the Schedule A people, or if you have to stay at Schedule A because you have a bunch of international people in there that can only do Schedule A, you have to wake up like an hour earlier. So it's just a little bit of a, a hindrance there. And just be wary of anybody in the United States that your um, daylight savings time is affected and the servers do not be, uh, the server times of events aren't affected. So like Coliseum will be one hour earlier, Super Augment will be one hour earlier. And this is uh, gonna be reflected in the new quest schedule, which actually wasn't out like in the beginning of the day, but now it actually is, so that is that so let's go ahead and get into the infusion because a lot of people have been talking about it um also the, during the patch this this is where what the gear uh thing looks like now uh the gear screen i always always hit menu still to get into a gear sets but uh it is gear sets and gear locker is now here as well as encyclopedia uh and then infusion obviously is is one thing that you uh want to look at all right so let's go ahead and check out what infusion is um Basically, Infusion is going to level up your gears even uh, more. It, it, one slot is equal to 10 levels. So let's just go ahead and click on this because I have a duplicate of this. So every one, each one of these Infusion slots is going to level up 10 levels. So this is effectively able to be a level uh, 100 level cap, right? Right now it's level 70 and then each one is plus 10, right? So 70 plus 30 is, is 100. Um, when you want to go ahead and infuse a item, um, I would suggest only infusing something that you have a duplicate of. And anytime you're infusing something, you definitely want to you have to remove it from your favorites. Uh, and I believe any of the sets that you have it equipped to, but I don't know 100% for that. Um, 
but yeah you probably have to uh, unequip it from the sets and also unfavor it so this one right here is actually a duplicate as this one is not plus one this one is plus one right so this is a duplicate hat uh, or helm it is it's a helm it's not a hat and um, as you can see it's gonna cost me zero of these tiers um, of these new um, items which I have uh, two of them don't have three right now because I didn't buy one from here but um, it's gonna cost zero to infuse this because it's actually a duplicate um, if it's if I don't have a duplicate right I want to put that back on favorites because I don't want to <laughs> infuse that right now but uh, if I don't have a duplicate and it's something that's I uh, identical or like nearly uh, nearly the same it's not the same but it's it's close enough you can go ahead and um, do the same thing unfavorite it and unset it like if it's under gear sets click on that and now it's actually gonna cost one to infuse one of these um, items right here the tears so um, again I don't want to infuse anything right now as I'm saving my tears to see how much uh, tears actually drop but let's go ahead and check this one out now infusing a something that is far off uh, from what like the furthest off so three options down these are the only three options you could have one um, is the zero tiers the other one is the one tier and this is the this is the second option the third option is to infuse this one which is actually gonna cost seven so the one that are the furthest away uh, from being able to infuse but are still able to infuse are gonna cost seven um, so those are the three options one I mean zero one and seven so um, right now I'm, I'm actually just saving my tears. I'm not going to infuse anything yet until I 100% know what I'm going to be for the next RGB. I would suggest doing the same thing for you guys because right now for GBs, like for regular GBs, unless you're like in like the the really really um, like really really competitive on your GBs, like you're not, you know, you really want to be competitive on your GBs, then you uh, should just save it because the GBs aren't really going to matter too much. The RGBs is what's going to matter, and then if the meta changes during the time that you already infuse something and then you're not going to end up using what you infuse it's going to be really difficult for you guys to get uh, gems or else i th or, or tears or else i think it would be you know it could be that the tears are really easy to get it also could be that the tears are almost impossible to get so having those three tiers to start out with you definitely want to be wary of items like that um, that you don't know anything about like you don't even you don't know how they're going to be dropped how many they're going to be dropped or if they're going to be able to be purchased later or something like that so I would suggest that just that's what I'm doing I don't know if you you could do whatever you guys want but I, I suggest holding on to them so that's how it's going to work with everything guys the weapons as well um, if you have the same exact duplicate weapon zero if you have something that's close to a weapon that you can do it's going to be like uh one and then the it's kind of far off but is able to infuse a seven let's go ahead and check it out real quick just to uh have like a an idea of what i'm talking about so i'm going to go ahead and select the different base and it's going to be a weapon this time so as you can see like you can put in stabs and books and stuff but these are going to be seven costs right so this is going to be seven of the um tiers here if i wanted to put in one of these weapons this one's uh one and this one's zero because i have a duplicate so that's pretty much how infusion works guys it's going to give you about um like say th a three level uh three thirty levels of an item is roughly I think it was uh, 1,500. So split that up. Um, you know, it's gonna be 750 on each uh, top and bottom uh, if for three, uh, and then I guess for two it would be about 500. So you know, a thousand stats for something like would ha that would have two infusion slots, which will go to level 90, and then for three infusion slots, it's about 1,500. Uh, and these numbers are like rough estimates. These aren't there aren't like 100% for each weapon, but it's about a rough a rough estimate of uh, you know threes and twos, which is level 90s and hundreds. Okay, so that's how infusion works. Um, the way you can actually get some of these items, it is in the patch notes, but you can get one from here. Um, I didn't get it yet because I, ca I you have until the December 31st, and I just bought a bunch of. Uh, cosmetics but uh, you can get one from here uh, I think I just passed it up accidentally but yeah there it is so the drop of ether 
I kept calling them tears. I guess it's drops. But uh, yeah, okay. So drops of ether. Um. So yeah, that's what that is. You can buy it there, and then also you get one for free when you log in, and then you get one from a sub quest here. So quest, quest. <laughs> Subquest. I would suggest going to quest quest sub quest instead of friend quest for the sub quest because your your uh, CPUs would die on it. But uh, yeah, it's right here. Ether Springs, rank 20. Um, yeah, so you just do that. Go ahead and quest in there, and I'm sure you can find somebody that will help you with that quest. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick. Um, quick guide on that uh, definitely give me a, a thumbs up if you like the video or if it helped you at all um, also if you want to definitely go ahead and hit the comments below tell me what you guys that thought about the video uh, as well as what you guys want in the next video I for the next video I think I will be doing a, um, a video that actually was inspired uh, by uh, JTB unison one of the people that I um, subscribe to and also is a YouTube um, unison league youtuber um, he did a video on proposed changes for the game and I thought I would be you know uh, it would be cool if I had some you know certain things in the game you know um, as far as accessibility and stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and do that video next and I'll come out probably tomorrow or the next day um, so I have some proposed changes and hopefully uh, they will be implemented and I will spread it all over uh, the forums and all that so I, I would uh, appreciate it for your guys help on the next video okay so um, that's it for this one as always thank you guys all for watching and take it easy peace